Hi guys, it's Crystal Porter here. Um, thanks for watching. Um, please like this video by clicking the thumbs up button. Share this video with everyone you know by clicking the share button. Uh, subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button. Uh, to receive notifications of my upcoming videos, click the bell button. Comment any prayer, salvation, and or Holy Spirit requests or praises so I can do reports on them in my upcoming videos. We are currently at 39 subscribers. Um, a thousand are required and we are at 40 public watch hours and 4,000 are required to get monetized so we can hashtag help where needed. And um, we're going to go ahead and get into prayer before we start today. Uh, Lord Jesus, we just thank you for this day. We just thank you for all the people on this channel watching right now, Lord. We just pray that you meet them where they're at. Keep them healthy and safe. Um, while they're traveling and um, continue to protect them each and every day. As we are about to watch this um, video, uh, just use me to uh, speak truth to the viewers and just um, be with each and every one of us. Give us spiritual eyes to see what you have for us and ears to hear what you want us to hear and a heart to be open to both. If there's anyone watching, Lord, that has not accepted you as their Lord and Savior, we pray Psalm, or we pray John 3.16, For God so loved the world that he sent his only begotten Son, that whoever shall believe in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. We just pray that over them right now. And if you accepted Jesus, welcome um, into the family. And um, just welcome today to the YouTube video. In Jesus' mighty name, we thank you and pray. Amen. So today um, we have a Holy Spirit report um, and this report is from a viewer from our YouTube family channel that the Holy Spirit gave them to um, me to uh, address on this channel. All right, and I want to just thank you for that um, YouTube family member giving me this. And if any of you have Holy Spirit reports that the Lord's telling you to put on this channel, go ahead and comment them in the comment section and I'll do a, a report on the next video. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, this will be Holy Re Spirit report number eight. It's talking about out of body experiences versus biblical truth. Out of body experiences, also known as astral projection and astral traveling is in the Bible, but it is dangerous without it being initiated by God through the power of the Holy Spirit and under his control. The voluntary practice of out-of-body experiences in order to commune or meet with the spirit world is practicing the occult, of which the Bible explicitly warns against any occult practice and sorcery. Leviticus 19 verses 31, Leviticus 20 verses 6, Leviticus 20 verses 27, and Deuteronomy chapter 18 verses 9 through 14. Out of body experiences not initiated by God through the power of the Holy Spirit and under his control is condemned as sorcery and witchcraft. Some of you may not like this, but the Bible also explicitly warns against astrology, which includes the reading of your horoscope. Um, this person is stating when they were 20 years of age, 39 years ago, um, they were quite heavily into the new age movement, not their crystals are jumping up and down screaming like a lunatic, um, then stopped suddenly to experience peace but rather the deeper experiences of the spirit realm. They remember once when laying on their bed, visualizing their spirit leaving their physical body, they began to feel disoriented and their body began to slightly shake. Um, they felt their inner self begin to rise up and leave their physical body. And at that moment, they instantly stopped themselves. 
maybe due to fear of the unknown, or maybe even though not saved at the time, the Holy Spirit was looking over them. Out-of-body experiences are addressed in the Bible, of which many saints have experienced, Apostle Paul being one of them. In Colossians 2 verses 5, Paul is writing to the Christians at Colossae, experiencing that although he is not physically there with them, he is there in the Spirit, observing their orderly conduct and steadfast faith in Christ. Colossians 2 5, For though I be absent in the flesh, yet am I with you in the Spirit, joying and beholding your order and the steadfastness of your faith in Christ. Paul also wrote to the Christians in Corinth, explaining that he was taken up in the third heaven, which is paradise, and how he couldn't tell if it was an out-of-body experience or if he was physically there. 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 1, It is not expedient for me, doubtless to glory. I will come to visions and revelations of the Lord. 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 2, I knew a man in Christ above 14 years ago, this person is saying, whether in the body I, he could not tell, or whether out of the body he could not tell. God knoweth such and one caught up to the third heaven. Many of the books um, this person read regarding New Age spiritual experiences explain that when our spirit leaves our physical body for the purpose of astral traveling, our spirit is still connected to our physical body by a cord, a silver cord. They claim that the silver cord that linked our spirit to our physical body was to ensure that when returning to our bodies, we do not get lost. This person remembers definitely didn't want to imagine what it would be like for the silver cord to be severed for any reason during an out-of-body experience. Would it mean instant death? Would it mean floating around the spirit realm for as long as your physical body is alive? At that point in their life, unsaved and without the truth of the Bible, they were unaware of the kingdom of darkness and its presence in the spirit realm. It is no coincidence that the silver cord they wrote about is spoken of in the Bible. Or ever the silver cord be loosed, or the golden bowl be broken, or the pitcher be broken at the fountain, or the wheel broken at the cistern, then shall the dust return to the earth as it was, and the spirit shall return unto God who gave it. That's in Ecclesiastics chapter 12, verses 6 through 7. The demonic danger of out-of-body experiences are evident. If you voluntarily disconnect your mind and spirit from your body, you will come across demonic entities, unless they are, of course, playing with you and are allowing you to get deeper and deeper into the cult by not scaring you off. Those that do come across these evil entities during out-of-body experiences just write them off as trickster entities or negative astral entities. But this is very far from the truth of what they really are. In Ephesians chapter 2, verses 2, Paul calls Satan the prince of the power of the air. The air referring to a higher invisible realm, the spirit realm, wherein in time past ye walked according to the course of this world. According to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 12, Paul speaks of wicked spirits in high places. The high places meaning the spirit realm, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, for against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Sometimes these demons that inhabit the high places come to the body of the person who is having an out-of-body experience and sexually stimulates them. But these demons come to them against their will and essentially rape them. But having said that, there are those who willingly have sexual relations with these entities, being unaware they are demons. If you have experienced sleep paralysis before you were a Christian and felt someone touching your private parts, you are basically being demonically raped. When you are having an out-of-body experience, whether voluntarily or involuntarily, your physical body is always susceptible from demons. If you are not a Christian and persist in out-of-body experiences because you think you are somehow protected by your spirit guide, who will always come to you as a bright light or a bright light behind them, you will eventually become their victim. Even Satan makes himself look like an angel of light. 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 14, and no marvel, for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. When you voluntarily or involuntarily 
definitely have an out-of-body experience. You're engaging in sorcery and therefore giving yourself over to the demonic realm and are giving them legal right into your world, body, mind, and spirit, which usually results in demonic oppression or even worse, demonic possession. Many who have participated in out-of-body experiences often reflect on feeling like they have picked up some kind of parasites from the astral realm, which is the spirit realm. These parasites are known other than demonic spirits, and I assure you, these demonic parasites are still with you today. I urge you to look to Jesus Christ for your salvation and freedom. Be cleansed of your sins and cleansed of any demonic effects or residue in your life. Just want to thank that YouTube family member for giving us this Holy Spirit report. If there are any of you guys that are listening um, and have any other Holy Spirit reports that you would like me to report on this channel, please feel free to comment and I will do that report on my next upcoming video. Until next time, bye!